Disconnect the battery before you start with the removal of the exhaust manifold. First, remove the outer heat shield. To do this, unscrew the three screws at the top of the inner plate. Observe the specified torque when reinstalling. Next is the screw at the bottom of the heat shield. Then take the outer heat shield out. Next is the inner heat shield. Unscrew the lower screw and remove it. Remove the five screws on the coolant line on the AGR positioner as well as on the crankcase. Remove the line. Observe the torque when reinstalling. Now remove the oil lines. To do this, unscrew the three screws on the front oil line. To remove the rear oil line, first unplug the charge air pipe and remove the water line. Seal the water line with a stop plug. Undo the screws on the rear oil line and remove it. When reinstalling, renew the O-rings and if necessary the lines. Use a plastic tool to change the O-rings. Remove the four screws on the flange of the high-pressure EGR and remove it. Unscrew the cast support and the bracket. Undo the six manifold nuts at the top and the seven below the exhaust manifold and remove them. Check the exhaust manifold for burn marks and cracks in the metal. With a straight edge and a feeler gauge, check for misalignment. If it's larger than 0.3 millimeters, replace it. Remove the exhaust manifold gasket. To do this, remove both screws on the seal. Clean all sealing surfaces. If the stud bolts have loosened during disassembly, replace them when reinstalling. Tighten the stud bolts hand tight, then re tighten them three times to the specified torque. Install the new exhaust manifold gasket and tighten the bolts with the specified torque. Attach the new exhaust manifold at the top with six and at the bottom with seven manifold nuts. Start from the center and tighten the manifold nuts counterclockwise to the specified torque three times each. Repeat the process three times. Please also observe the tightening pattern in this. For the installation of the retainer, please refer to the part number information in EPC. To hammer in the retainers, either use a 3 8 or a 13 mm multi-tooth socket.
work is carried out with retainers of the following part numbers. Before installation, renew the two metal gaskets of the exhaust gas return line. Then tighten the two screws of the exhaust manifold and the two screws of the exhaust gas return line at the EGR valve with the prescribed torques. There are two variants for reinstalling. Variant 1. Only tighten the screws of the cast support. Observe the specified torque when tightening the bracket. If you're working on a four-wheel drive vehicle, reinstall the diesel particulate filter and the heat shields. For the next step, use a drift with the following part number. Make sure that the support ring inside the clamp is pressed downwards in the three catch tabs and is correctly located in the specified groove. By using the Dawn and the Bolhoff securing element, center the turbocharger on the car support and bring the component into the defined installation position. Tighten the three screws on the car support to the specified torque. Use a new screw and tighten it to the car support of the bracket with the same torque and angle of rotation. Then remove the drift. After the turbocharger is in position, tighten both clamp and screw of the Bolhoff securing element with the specified torque. Variant 2. If you didn't separate the bracket, support and oil line on the crankcase during the removal, screw the combination back onto the engine. Attach the bracket and the car support with the specified torque and angle of rotation. Screw the oil lines back on. Don't forget to renew all the seals. The turbocharger can then be reinstalled without a centering drift. With this variation too, tighten both the clamp and the screw of the Bolhoff element with the prescribed torque. Then complete the engine and allow it to warm up. Finish your work with a visual inspection.